Hi, and welcome to Deborah Smith Music Video Tutorials, Level 3, Section 3, Rhythm. The first step in understanding how to do compound time rhythmic dictations is to first understand and have a very good sense of the beat and the pulse. After all, the definition of rhythm is the pattern of longer and shorter sounds heard over the beat. However, in compound time, it is recognition of what sound you hear on the pulse that will help us most in transcription exercises. Rhythmic shorthand is a system of quickly notating how many sounds are heard on each pulse. Writing a rhythm set before you hear the dictation for the first time prepares you to recognise the rhythms you will hear and may help when you write the notes of the rhythm onto the staff. As this is a very early rhythmic transcription, the rhythm set would only include the rhythms learned in section 3 of your book. In fact, this transcription will only include these rhythms. Therefore, this is your rhythm set. Above each bar in this rhythmic dictation, a stroke is written for each pulse. You will need to write these pulse strokes for other dictations you complete. The time signature shows that there are six pulses per bar so six pulse strokes have been written above each bar. Notice the first and fourth beat strokes are darker and longer. This is to show where the beats fall. During the first playing, listen to the rhythm given and point to the pulse strokes. One and a, two and a. As you continue listening and pointing, never stop pointing, make a mark on each pulse stroke where you hear sounds. For example, if you hear one sound on each of the first three pulses, write one diagonal line on each of the first three pulse strokes. If you hear one sound on the fourth pulse stroke and one on the sixth, write a diagonal line on each of these pulse strokes. If you hear nothing, until the fourth pulse in the second bar. Leave the three pulse strokes of that bar empty. This would be a rest, tie or long note. And make a mark on the fourth pulse stroke. As you continue listening to the repeated playings, finish the rhythmic shorthand. One and a, two and a. Hopefully, this is where you heard sounds. Translate your shorthand onto the staff using notes before the final playing. Do not leave this until the final playing. If possible, begin translating your shorthand onto the staff whenever you have a spare moment during the playings. Where you heard one sound on each of the first three pulses, write three quavers. Where you heard one sound on the fourth pulse stroke and one on the sixth, write this. In the second bar, where you heard only one sound on the fourth pulse stroke, 
write this. Complete the dictation using your knowledge of compound time rhythms and your shorthand. Check that the correct number of pulses and beats is in each bar. Use the final playing to check your rhythm by saying it in your head in rhythm names as you listen. One and a, two and a. The process remains the same regardless of which rhythms are included. For more information and resources, visit dsmusic.com.au.